Hey guys, this is Courage Culinary, and today we are making easy marinara sauce. All right, um, I had a uh, this one for Mary. Um, I had a subscriber that wanted to see um, how marinara was made, and marinara is very easy to make. All right, so very simple ingredients: salt, pepper, Italian seasoning garlic, a little sugar, onions, crushed tomatoes, a little red wine, olive oil, all right? So my pan's already heated up. You're gonna take a little olive oil, you put it down in there, just, just a couple glugs. All right, you want your pan hot, so you want to, yeah, that's what you want. You want them onions to caramelize. So we're done with that, onions. You're gonna take a teaspoon of garlic. I like to use a nice little heaping teaspoon. Okay, done with that. And a little bit of salt. Just a little, just a pinch. That's it. You don't, don't need a lot of salt. You just need a little. All right. And a little bit of pepper. Now you put the salt and pepper and garlic in to cook with these onions and give them some real nice good flavor. Oh, it smells good. Give them some real nice flavor. What we're going to do is we are going to caramelize these onions. Alright, and so we're going to let this cook for a little bit. You want to start off on a high heat my heat's on like seven or eight so that you can get a real nice hot skillet or nice hot pan so that you can caramelize these onions real nice and well so we are also going to have this is a little bit of italian seasoning it is one tablespoon and a couple teaspoons of sugar that will go in last and all i had was dried so i went with it and sometimes if that's all you got that's all you got to do but um, didn't have any fresh so the dried will work just as well you just have to use less and um, I also have a little bit of red wine we are going to just use enough of this red wine to deglaze this pan once these are nice and caramelized and cooked up so we're, we're getting we're getting pretty close here and then the salt and pepper is just a taste once you've added it into the onions do not add any more um, the Italian seasoning if I'm going to add this into it and then what I'm going to do is turn it down on low for about two hours if it does not have the flavor that you would like, um, taste it with a spoon, and you can always add more. And you can always add more, but you can't take out. So it's best to just add a little bit at a time. All right, our onions are doing onions are doing pretty good here. We're getting some nice getting some nice color out of them. We're not quite there yet. We want to be just, just a little bit longer. But this marinara sauce is extremely easy to make. And it doesn't cost very much at all. If you go to the store, you're probably going to pay $1.50 to $3 for a can of marinara sauce. and Or a jar of marinara sauce. And with the small amount of ingredients I've used here, this is about a dollar and a quarter's worth. Um, the, the crushed tomatoes only cost me like 75 cents. A uh, little bit of garlic, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, one onion. Uh, it's just, you know, the wine is a little expensive, but we're not using a whole lot of it. So, and also on the wine, do not use expensive wine. This is just for cooking. This bottle here only cost me about three, it was about four or five dollars for, and that's all I use it for. It's for cooking, it's not for drinking. So, yeah, our onions are getting are nice and caramelized. You can see the bottom of this pan. I don't know if you can see it. 
So you get this nice caramelization here. So now that we have our onions nice and caramelized, we are going to take a little bit of red wine. And remember, if you have gas, be careful, this will flame up. But just a little bit of red wine, just enough to deglaze that pan. That's all you're gonna do with it. And it is going to, oh, it smells good. It's gonna pull all of that extra caramelization off of the bottom of this pan for you as it's cooking and bring all of those delicious flavors back in to your sauce. So now that you've added this, and this is cooked down pretty nice and well, because it does cook very quickly, the white wine reduces very quickly. So now you're going to turn your heat down to low. Then you are going to add your can of crushed tomatoes. And put, I'll put a, just a little bit of water in there, just a little. Just a little, not too much. And before this goes crazy, and yes, it's going to make a little bit of a mess because it's going to bubble, but it's not a big deal. You can always clean that up. All right, now that that is taken care of, we are going to add our sugar and Italian seasoning, and we are going to stir that in. This is very, very simple, and it is a very delicious marinara sauce. You can do anything with it. You can uh, add some meat to it, any, you know, make some spaghetti, make, um, you know, cheese sticks, marinara sauce. I mean, and you can do anything with this. So another thing is if you would like more vegetables in it, like spinach, mushrooms, anything like that, you would just add that in at the same time that you added your onions. Cook the, cook everything first, then add your marinara. Now my heat's turned down, so you're gonna turn this handle to the side, make sure everybody stays safe. You're gonna put a lid on it, and you're gonna let this simmer on low for about two hours. Then you're gonna taste it, and it should be finished. You can always um, add a little more salt, pepper, garlic if you'd like and that's a wrap guys uh this is Kurt's culinary i hope you liked this video uh and if you like please thumbs up like subscribe share and i'll see you on the next one peace